Always excited to introduce a new kit, and today I'm introducing to you the Golden Age of Ocean Liners. And this is kind of a take on the Titanic era, where rich people would cross the ocean, go into Europe or New York, um, and they would take those wonderful ocean liners. So I am going to go ahead and make a couple of cards for you today, but I wanted to share with you some of the images in this kit because it's just beautiful. So I added some paper to kind of look like uh, what would be wallpaper, perhaps in some of the uh, staterooms. And then of course I have a picture of the captain. I've got some pictures of maybe the passengers. I've got some baggage claims. I've got some little stationery. So I've got some wonderful items to create lots of fun projects. But today I'm gonna go ahead and create for you two five by seven cards and I'm gonna use two of the characters. I'm gonna use one of the ladies that's gonna be a passenger on my ocean liner and then I'm gonna use the captain. So the first thing that I did of course is print out all of my images and I cut them out. And I like to have all of my images cut out before I actually start creating because a lot of times I don't really know what pieces I'm gonna be using to layer. And then once I decided uh, that I was gonna make two cards using the two characters, I went ahead and got out my walnut stain and I just started adding some Distress ink to the edges just to make it look a little bit more old. Now I wanted my cards to be similar, but just a little bit different with regards to the ephemera pieces that I would be using. So the first thing that I did was to cut the base of my card and figure out what paper I was gonna use. And ultimately I decided to go with a blue theme um, since this is kind of a nautical uh, design. And I cut out the two pieces of uh, wallpaper uh, and I'm gonna use those for layering. Now, before I turned on the camera and I started taping, I did figure out which pieces I wanted to use and I kind of uh, figured out what my layout was gonna be just uh, to save some time. And typically when I am creating layered cards, that is what takes the most time, is just trying to determine what pieces I wanna use and what my layout is gonna look like. So once I figured that out, putting the card together was pretty easy. So as you can see here, I'm just adding my uh, designer wallpaper to my other designer wallpaper and I'm gonna go ahead and layer it onto a blue base. And the approach that I typically take is uh, one layer at a time. So I knew that I wanted to have um, a little bit of a background to the lady. So I went ahead and um, figured out what piece I wanted to use for that and I glued her onto that. And I'll be showing you that in just a minute here. But that's pretty much how I approach my layers is I pretty much put it onto the paper and then once I determine how I want it to look, then I uh, kind of attach the images piece by piece. All right, so as you can see here, um, the first piece that I'm gonna glue down is the bottom layer. So once I kind of figured out my positioning of all the pieces and I laid them onto my card base, then I kind of worked from the bottom up. So knowing that my envelope was going to be the first layer on the card, that's gonna get glued first to the card base. But before I did that, knowing that I did wanna have some background um, on that lady. I went ahead and just added a little bit of glue and added her to the letter so that way I would just be working with one piece versus the two pieces. All right, so now that I have my pieces kind of organized and figured out how I want to layer them, um, I'm gonna go ahead and again take the bottom piece and I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the card base. And I'm just keeping my second piece also on the card so I can kind of eyeball it as I'm going along. While your um, wet adhesive is gonna be somewhat forgiving, at some point it will completely dry. So it's a good idea to uh, use wet adhesive when you are creating layered cards so you do have some movement, but keep it in mind, you wanna definitely have your layout option in mind before you actually start adding the glue to your ephemera pieces. All right, so once I had my pieces all laid out and glued, now it was time to add the extra embellishments. And you've seen me use my remnant rubs before, and I just love these. Uh, these are smaller versions of some of the Tim Holtz stamps that are out there. And of course, if you have the stamps, you can definitely use those to add extra interest to your cards. But I just love how the remnant rubs are small and uh, you can easily fit them in just to add extra interest, but not to actually take over the card.
So I went through my stash and I cut out some uh, remnant rubs that I thought would be good. And I'm just going to go ahead and add them to my card. So I had all of my remnant rubs added to my card and now I just wanted to add just a little bit extra. Since it was a really nice um, feminine card, I thought a piece of lace at the bottom would be a good idea. Now ordinarily I probably would have added my lace before I started putting my layers, but this was an afterthought and I just thought it really made the card beautiful. And then just to make sure that my lace was going to stay in place, um, as you can see, I just added a little bit of glue. Um, I went ahead and uh, decided to add a couple of brads, and I just thought it also added to the nautical theme just to have some metal elements onto the card. So I uh, punched a couple of holes into the card, and I added uh, two brads. So as you can see, with just a few additions uh, of lace and some remnant rubs and of course some brads, it really brought the card together pretty easily. So let's go ahead and get started on our captain's card. Okay, so for my captain's card, like I said, I wanted to basically have similar cards but with just different ephemera pieces. So I uh, had cut out two pieces um, for each card. So as you can see, I'm using the other part of my wallpaper uh, paper for the backing and I'm going to do exactly like I did on the first card where I'm going to go ahead and glue down my layers to go ahead and uh, get my base intact. And then just like I did with the first card, I'm going to go ahead and take my ephemera pieces and figure out exactly which pieces are going to go on top and which pieces are going to go underneath. So with the captain, I knew that I wanted to layer him on top of uh, an ephemera piece. So I did the same thing I did with the woman and I added that piece to uh, the back, uh, just adding a little bit of glue so that way I could work with one piece. You'll find when you are working with ephemera pieces, you don't necessarily want to glue them all down one at a time because you want to work with your placements. So if you do know that you have a couple of pieces that are going to complement each other or, you know, be laid together, you can easily add, you know, one or two ephemera pieces together to create one piece. And then that way, as you start to layer your, your images, um, you'll have a better idea of how it's going to look. Now this kit has some really fun images. I've been collecting uh, some of the ephemera pieces that I used on this kit for a while. And I knew eventually I wanted to do some sort of a uh, steamship or a cruise ship theme. Um, and it was really fun to actually find some ephemera pieces that said the White Star Line. And of course, if you know the story of the Titanic, that was the White Star Line. I didn't necessarily want to create a Titanic theme, uh, kit, but I definitely wanted to get that vibe. So as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and layer him onto uh, another piece that is like a cabin class stateroom uh, baggage. And, and I love the blue and that's kind of coincides, coincides with the blue theme that I have going on with this kit. Um, and I wanted to make sure that parts of that ticket were showing. So when you are doing layering, um, if there is a piece of ephemera or a certain label that you want to show, just make sure you kind of keep that in mind and be a little strategic about where you're placing your pieces. And remember, with the ephemera pieces, if you don't necessarily have to use the whole piece, especially when you're layering. So if there's a part of an ephemera piece that you like um, and you know you're going to actually just show part of it, then certainly just cut it off because you can use the other part 
of your paper for another card or even another design. So as you can see here, I just wanted to add the little piece that said white star line. Um, and when you actually glue it a little bit underneath your layers, it looks like it's a bigger piece. So it's a good way to um, tr trick the eye, I guess, so to speak, um, by your layering. Okay, and then once I had this glued down, uh, just like I did with my other card, I wanted to go ahead and add some more ephemera, uh, excuse me, some more remnant rubs. Um, so uh, I just kind of picked out some fun ones that I thought would look good on the card. Now, while I'm only showing you parts of the actual kit, um, I encourage you to go ahead and go over to my shop, tailormadecardsforyou.com, to check out the entire kit. There are some wonderful ephemera pieces. I've got some beautiful paper that I've shared with you, but I also got some more paper that is also in the kit. Um, there's some tags that I created for the kit, uh, and there's some um, identification cards, kind of look like passenger identification cards that are also part of the kit. So there are lots of options with this kit to create lots of different types of projects. Now with this particular kit, um, I also created five journal pages. So I consider this kind of like a bonus kit because not only are you getting pieces to create cards, but if you wanted to, you can also create a little journal book because you have some beautiful paper uh, to create journals. Now, if you're not really into making journals, there's another thing that you can use the journal pages for. Um, they are great as toppers for your card. So if you don't necessarily want to create your own layers, the journal pages have some layers on their own and it's just basically a flat piece so you don't have to cut anything you don't have to get out any glue you're going to already have some really pretty layers uh, to work with and they can work for not only the top of your card but for the inside of your card as well so i hope that you've enjoyed the introduction of my new kit uh called the golden age of ocean liners um, and i've given you at least a couple of ideas of what you can do with this kit I think it's going to be really great for summer projects as well. So I hope that you check it out. So if you've enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And uh, for your convenience, I will leave links in the description box where you can find all of the um, supplies that I used. All right, everybody. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.